Hey gents, Lockie here from the Man That Can Project and thanks for clicking to find out more about the eight areas that I believe all men must master. And it's the first thing that I bring to the awareness of all the men that I work with uh, because I believe it's, it's so important for all of us to strive towards a life that provides balance for us because a lot of us in the past have pursued career right, at the expense of our relationships, at the expense of our physical health, right, at the expense of our spiritual health, our mental health. Okay, so I'm a big believer and I live my life by these eight areas and I believe it's an area that we all need to master together. So before I share with you those, uh, what those are, I just want to obviously go through the other points that I mentioned, you know, first one being why it's important to get clear on what it is that you want from your life. Uh, a lot of us never take the time to think about what it is that we want from our life. We lack direction and therefore we never question why we're doing things. We never take a moment to think about what potentially is missing or we, what we, uh, sorry, what we want for our future. We get direction coming out of school, right? We feel like we have to go to school, get good grades, or, uh, sorry, go to university or get a, uh, a trade, right? But from that moment in time, we never really start uh, questioning what we want or why we're doing things or what beliefs that we have. And we never really think about bringing all aspects of our life or all areas of our life on the journey with us. So it's why we you know, get so far down the track and people have midlife crises. Uh, they you know, hit goals that they thought would uh, bring them all you know, happiness and success and all these things, but they still feel unfulfilled. And it's because we neglect these areas that that happens. And I'm fortunate to work with uh, men from all walks of life who you know, have different success in different uh, areas of their life. And you know, because they haven't, master these eight areas or even thought about these eight areas there's still that uh, sense of unfulfillment so i won't carry on too much more about that but it's really important to think about what you want from your life because then you can think about uh, the eight areas which i'll share with you in a moment the next thing you know to get clear on is the mindset shift that needs to happen so that you can master all these areas a lot of us and i've been there i, I struggled with you know having balance and focusing on different aspects of my life because i thought you know i had to get uh, become successful in my business. I had to make the money. I had to be the provider. So it was really hard for me to slow down. It was really hard for me to prioritize time, uh, spending it in different areas of my life because I thought, you know, if I do that, I'm gonna lose money or I might lose my job or my business might grow the way it needs to. So ultimately, you know, I had to have a huge, uh, a few, sorry, mindset shifts in order to be able to think about how the other areas of, the, of my life added value to me. Right? Because even though they might not bring instant gratification or they might not put money in the bank essentially, they're putting uh, you know, a different currency, right? They're adding different value to your life. So it's important not to neglect those. So that's why we need to allow that mindset shift to happen in order to get comfortable with going, all right, I'm gonna spend some time on my physical health, my spiritual health, uh, learning about my financial health, learning about my you know, investing into my relationships because ultimately that's going to uh, allow me to feel fulfilled. So when I go to work, you know, I'm, I'm a happier person, or I'm more driven, or I'm more focused, or I'm more confident. Okay. So, and then finally, it's it's how do we implement tools and resources and strategies, or uh, uh, chunking, time chunking, as I call it, in order to for your own needs, because we all have different things we want from our life. Right? You all have a good understanding of things that make you feel happy, you enjoy doing, you feel challenged doing. So ultimately, it's about figuring out what they are and what, you know, going back to that first question, what you want from your life so that you can start building uh, your, your, your career and your life, I guess, into a cohesive uh, unit. Right, so those eight areas that I focus on talking about and, you know, write these ones down, you can always watch this back uh, to go through is first and foremost mental and emotional health. Okay, so thinking about what kind of mindset do you need to support the goals. The second one is your physical health. Obviously, you know, for those who follow my stuff, I'm a big believer in uh, keeping yourself feeling strong and confident and, and having a body that suits the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. Thirdly, you know, your partner or love, so intimacy. And what does your partner need to have? What values do you have uh, in a relationship? Family and friends, okay? What kind of relationships do you need to support your best self, you know, from that family and friends? Your growth or spirituality, right? What purpose are you giving yourself? And we go into 
six is your career or your mission, right? What importance does it play? For a lot of us, it takes up most of our week, you know, it takes up 38 plus hours, right? And it takes up a lot of our thinking, it causes a lot of the stress in our life. So it's how do we balance that out and make sure we get to focus on these other areas as well. Uh, seventh is finances, you know, what's your number? What do you need to live the quality of life that you want? Okay, and then lifestyle, how do you want your days to be? Or even your weeks, like do you want to prioritize these other areas of your life? And for me, it's something that I bang on about all the time because if we neglect areas of these life, there's going to be a point in time where it catches up with us, where we realize that we shouldn't have neglected it. And a lot of us really never give it thought until it's too late. So I hope you guys got value from that. If you want to learn more about that, right, or if you even just want to jump on a a coaching call with me for free, you know, just get to Jan and I can help you sort of understand these in a greater level and you can start implementing them into your lifestyle. Make sure you get in contact with me. Okay, you can book a call from the link attached below or you can just shoot me an email and I'd love to love to help you out with that.